Hey guys, Cross Lake Predator Dropper here. Oop, not that way. For you. Uh, it's uh, March, uh, like 16th or 17th. Doing some cleanup in the shed and throughout the yard. Uh, we pulled up our drops right around Christmas time. And uh, basically, we're just cleaning the house now. Sorting through the traps, seeing what we got to fix, what we got to tune up again for next year. Uh, trying to clean my bench off. It's got a little bit of everything scattered in there. Uh, basically, right around Christmas time, the coyote population, we had set it back and get enough far enough, I guess, that. The fox had moved in probably over the summer because this fall and winter, as you guys seen, we caught a lot of fox for our area anyway. We ended up with five or six of them, um, which is the most I've ever caught in one year here. Usually it's like all coyote and one fox or 90% coyote and a couple of fox, but this year... The numbers kind of flipped for the area that we were trapping um, so obviously this summer and into fall we're going to be scouting hard for good coyote population areas uh, I've already identified a few just throughout the winter that you know okay we've got to keep an eye on this see what coyotes are doing like in the summer and fall so we're going to target some new areas next year going to add in probably another dozen MB550s. I love those traps. They hold they hold the animal really well. Uh, and they don't bend up like the Bridgers do. I found that if you catch a big coyote, it bends the pans and twists shit up on the Bridger trap. So, not a knock against Bridger really. It's just my personal preference. Some guys like to spend time straightening pans and readjusting everything. Well, Bridger's for you. I like the MB550s. They're, they're built like a tank. So that's good. Um, just figured I'd give you a little update. Show you that I am still on YouTube. I haven't completely disappeared. Um, did pretty good on first sales, I guess, for what we had. We did. Uh, we sold our Fox for $10 a pelt. A lot of guys are saying five, three, four, or whatever. So I feel pretty good that we got ten dollars of pelt off our fox. Um, we do have an update on my mitts. Uh, we'll get to that here right now. So in one of my videos this year, you heard me talking about catching a fox that was going to be sent off to be make some mitts. So we got our great big gauntlet style mitts made. Um, Gordo's Crick of the Valley, Saskatchewan Fine Furs is who I used. Uh, really good guy, me, awesome, awesome quality product. Nice leather on the backside. Uh, yeah, this summer we got a few projects around the yard. Probably show you some of that as it goes along couple of camping trips we're planning right now uh, with all this COVID crap uh, probably not going to be able to have a Saskatchewan Trappers rendezvous our convention should have been this month obviously due to restrictions and stuff we had to cancel that so no convention show this year um, but yeah we'll uh, Try to get back on to making some videos, kind of basically as I feel like it. You know that's how I operate. I feel like making a video, I make one. So yeah, a little March update here. Maybe we'll do one a month. Do a March. So this is March's update. We'll do one in April. One in May, June, July, August, September, October. And then November will be uh, setting traps again. So yeah, that's uh, we'll say that's the plan. Do one video a month throughout the summer. Unless something really interesting happens, then we'll maybe make a couple. But 
we'll go with that. Um, thanks to everyone that subscribed and stayed subscribed. I really appreciate that. Uh, I know every now and then I get a new subscriber trickling in. And, uh, yeah, business is picking up for my electrical company, so that's awesome. Uh, definitely be watching your guys' videos throughout the summer. Kind of like uh, Triple Nickel Trapper that way. Go hard at her all winter, and then in the summer I catch up and watch all your guys' videos. So, uh, I've actually been watching a few here lately. I try and leave a comment, like, share, you know. You guys support my content, I'll support yours, and I always have, so we'll be hitting some more YouTube videos up on your guys' for sure, so thanks again. If you're not a subscriber or a follower, uh, like, subscribe, share. Summers are always slow with the trapping videos and content videos for me, but come winter we try to do at least one a week. Or every couple of days. Depends how the how the trap line's producing. I know everyone likes to see catches and coyotes in the trap or fox in the trap, so I usually try to make sure I have at least one or two catches in my video when I'm doing them in the winter. So yeah. Thanks for watching.